I don't know what my problem is today. I feel a little unhinged. Uh, so it's a good thing that this is just an unhaul video and nothing too serious because I don't think I have it in me right now. That being said, welcome to this unhaul video. It's the first of this year. I've been doing a lot of work on my bookshelves in the last couple days. I have quite the stack here of books that I will be unhauling for various reasons. So the first book on this list is a book that I found... I found at my other library back in Florida where they had the most incredibly cheap books on this little like little mini store when you walk in there and they would just sell they would just blow out books. I've got a lot of graphic novels from there for like 50 cents. So I had picked this book up for my kids thinking oh my gosh it is so cute and I didn't realize though it's the third in a series and then I just kind of never revisited it. My kids I'm done like actually just picking up spontaneous books and thinking that they're gonna like them because it just never works out. The third book in The Edge Chronicles. I actually have never even heard anyone talking about these. I don't... This next one is Artemis by Andy Weir. I have been holding on to this book for so, so long. I had to go ahead and unhaul this because of a recent review. Um, Emmy over at her YouTube channel has just given this book like the most terrible rating and I don't usually let other people's ratings really affect my like I would normally just go ahead and give it a shot anyways um despite someone else's bad review but the things that she had to say about it I feel like I would have the exact same experience with this book so I really just I, I don't even want to give it the time of day I don't I reading <laughs> reading in general like I'm not going to go into depths on that, but it's just something in my mind and I think that this would be just a waste of my time. Very good condition book and I bet you Second It Charles would take this book. So that one's going to go in that pile. The next one is Mud Woman by Joyce Carol Oates. I had watched this like little thing on YouTube that talks about Joyce Carol Oates as an author and just that it really, really intrigued me. So I was really inspired to read more of her works and so when I saw this, at the discard pile at the library, I was like, oh, well, let me just add that one to my collection. I'll read it. And at the time I remember thinking, okay, it sounded pretty good, but I'm wondering if I didn't just pick it up because of the author's name. Because now when I go back and read the synopsis, I mean, I can't even like get invested in the synopsis. I'm just thinking that trying to read this book, it's not gonna go well. I did read one Joyce Carol Oates book it was like a small collection. It was kind of thriller. And I can't say that I liked it very much at all. But needless to say, I just, this one in particular, I have one more by her. It's called The Accursed, I think. And that one's definitely more just naturally up my alley. It's about vampires. But this one just is not vibing with me at all. So I'm going to get go ahead and discard this one. This one's definitely going to have to go in like a little free library. I know that Second and Charles will not take this book because it's very obviously a discarded library book with the plastic and everything on it. So next four are books that I have DNF'd. Um, the, the first one is Winter People by Jennifer Mc This book is just boring. I thought it was gonna be a lot more centered around like winter. I was really in the mood for like wintry books, but it doesn't really feel very wintry. Its whole premise is kind of like this ghost story. And in the pro in the prologue itself, it has like what happened in the past. And then they do kind of leave it up to like, well, you don't really know what happens, but like you kind of do. If you've seen any kind of ghost stories or thrillers, like you, you can put the pieces together. And then we have present day and you just know, like you just already know what's going to happen. History is going to repeat itself and it's all kind of based on a ghost story. And already when it comes to ghost stories, I'm just not very um, i'm just very picky about them i would say picky because i don't want to completely rule out ghost stories you know there's some like the haunting of hill house that i'm interested in reading at the beginning it felt like it captured my attention but as the book kind of carried on i started losing attention it ceased to be very thrilling and it felt like i already knew what was going to happen 
So I just DNF'd it. A very recent DNF called The Story Sisters by Alice Hoffman. This was just boring. This element of like magic in it, but it's more like this little girl playing make-believe. But then again, I feel like it's a little off-putting because I feel like she's really a young adult and it feels very young in a way. Am I thinking of the same one? I, I am. And then we go, her and her two sisters are very like close-knit as children and then I guess they have some like family issues and one of the sisters is dealing with it in a different way than the other sisters and she goes off on this wild streak and partying and drugs and then it's just kind of all centered around that sister and you know me, I just really don't like that being the center focus of a story. It's just not interesting to me. I just... I just don't have patience for it and the rest of the story just really isn't that interesting so I'm DNFing it. So that goes to a little free library. The Dying of the Light by Robert Gulrich and this one sounded so good. A lot of the things that I really like, Elite Society, this girl is supposed to be the heiress of this huge estate, this huge mansion and she's grown up with the best of the best luxury and if you can probably tell from the cover it takes place in what do i want to say like 20s i think it takes place like around the 20s oh world war one okay the only problem is that their estate is suffering financially it doesn't look like it but on the back end of it like you need money to maintain an estate like that and i guess they had I forgot what it, it what it was exactly, um, but either way, it's suffering. So they really need her to marry a rich man. She also is wanting to at least have some sort of connection to them. Like her most her most important thing is like her house and everything like that. And her dad is very sweet. As much as their estate is suffering. He still wants her to be happy and so if she just cannot find that happiness he's like then we'll figure a different way out. But she thinks she's found a man and they he's so charming and so um, they really kind of connect and they hit it off and she's also kind of looking at other prospects as well but um, they're just like old dodgy kind of guys and just you know but she really likes this guy. so she ends up marrying him and they have this gorgeous wedding of course and there oh there was something else i think there were like red flags right so he turns out to not be the kind of person that she thought he was he is kind of a dick we'll just put it that way short and simple he's got all these different signs of where he's just not a good guy the whole premise sounded so good but the execution just is not there in ways it had a really nice lead up but then as soon as we get to the moment where she gets married it just like the pacing is off we just jump forward in time and all these things just like keep happening in succession it feels very rushed and i don't know like there's just something missing about it a few things are really just missing the mark for me. I was expecting to get this kind of like look into and peek into this gorgeous estate, which is kind of like, you know, the object here, the, the whole reason for this whole situation is to keep this beautiful, gorgeous house. And we don't really get to experience the house much in this book. Um, we don't get a whole lot of this couple. They tell us that he's an asshole, but there's a like, very few instances where we really get to see him in action, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, it was a DNF. This is the next one, Shanghai Girls by Lisa C. I've read other books by this author as well, and I just don't know about this one. So I just, I feel like I've read it before, if that makes sense. It doesn't feel like I'm gonna, and I feel like I kind of already know what's happening. So it's about these sisters and go through all these hardships and one of them gets married, but the other one who's not married ends up pregnant. So they stick together and they deceive these people who they have to like answer to. 
and um, this whole thing happens. And I guess that part's pretty interesting, but I can't, I don't know. Again, I just I just got I just fell out of interest with it, and that was that. So. House on Mango Street. This is actually a duplicate copy. I just really don't need two copies. And I think that the other one I have is a prettier cover. So this one's gonna go. Changeless. This sounded like a book that was so up my alley, but this is not the first in a series, the second book in the series. And honestly, this one I've been holding on to for so long. It's I think I've just fallen out of interest with it. So yeah, there's that one. This one, again, is a duplicate. I found a much more beautiful uh, trade paperback edition of this. And this is called Flowers for Algernon. Vampire Kisses. This manga, Vampire Kisses, I read this last month, actually. I think my son has already read it. Maybe he's read it. I don't really know. And I just don't want to hold on to it anymore. It wasn't great, so... Spider Whip Chronicles book number five. This is a duplicate. Chronicles of Narnia book number three. I have the giant anthology. I realized it was taking me forever to like pick up that ginormous book. So I thought, well, maybe it'd be better to get these. So I was just keeping my eye out for them. And just recently read the first book, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And I just realized that I probably am not going to be reading that series. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. I just, I'm too old to really enjoy it. I'm too late to the party and I just don't know the language. I'm going to get rid of this one. I'll keep the anthology still, you know, you never know. My kids might want it, but I don't need the third book. I don't even have the rest of the other books and I'm not going to be reading it. So why am I getting rid of this one? I just don't want to make time for it. That's another thing. It's not even that it's not interesting because I'd rather make time for a lot of other things. Love Stories in this town. I had picked this up because I thought that it was an interesting concept to kind of follow people around town and hear their different love stories, but I just don't think that that's for me anymore. This edition of Siddhartha, this is a book that I just recently read. I have the mass market edition. This one's kind of a beat up copy and I just don't need a duplicate. I'm perfectly fine with my mass market paperback book of it. Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I had actually found another copy of this one and I ended up keeping that one because it was a lot better condition. So this one's got like some bending here and uh oh what is that? What the heck? Oh I thought something was like stuck on the page in the book and there is but there isn't. It's a feather, but when I was flipping through it, it was such an awkward thing. It looked like there was something gross stuck in the pages. Anyways, there's not. It's perfectly fine. But this one just has kind of a beat up cover, so I kept the nicer one and I'm going to get rid of this one. Kind of pains me to get rid of, but I'm telling you, I'm not going to reread it. My Lady Jane, it's, I have the second book in this series, but a beautiful hard copy. And I had picked this one up because I happened to find it. I hadn't read it yet. And I wanted to read it before I read number two, but now that I have, it just wasn't that great. I'm really, really hoping that book two is good. And that's everything that I'm in a hauling. And it looks like I have about another 30 minutes to an hour before the kids get home. So I'm gonna try to squeeze in another video. So I'll see you later, bye.